today I'm going to demonstrate how to do a, an elastography of the liver, which looks for fibrosis or cirrhosis using a quantitative measurement of a kilopascal readout, as well as looking at the attenuation through the liver to look for any sort of steatosis. So first, I'm using the Hologic um, Supersonic Mach 30 system. I'm using a curved one to six megahertz transducer. And each transducer has an indicator. The indicator represents the left-hand side of the screen. And on this transducer, the indicator is here. You can see that little notch. This side has a little notch, but it's not the arrow. The arrow will represent the left-hand side of the screen. So I'm going to present, have the indicator on the left-hand side of the patient, which will correlate with the left-hand side of the screen. I'm gonna place it down in the xiphoid process, and I'm going to scan lateral to that. And I'm going to turn my probe oblique. So here's where it started. I'm turning it oblique, and as you can see on the image, what that does, it gets rid of the rib shadowing. So if I'm here, and I turn oblique, you'll see those ribs disappear in the image. So I'm gonna scan, I'm gonna try and position that liver, which is right here. You can see a beautiful heterogeneous image of the liver. This is a normal liver. You can see the borders of the liver being very smooth, not rigid, which would indicate that there's some steatosis in there. So first thing I want to do is I want to acquire the speed of sound. And with the speed of sound, the higher the speed of sound, the more healthy the liver. If there's any sort of fatty liver or steatosis, the sound waves will travel slower through that which will give you a lower um, meters per second um, sound, uh, numerical readout. So I've got the reference box up once I touch that button, and you'll see the reference box here. That is where they're going to measure the speed of sound. And I'm going to hit SSP plus acquisition. So if, you can, if the patient can suspend their breathing, acquisition. So now it did acquire. We had a nice area where we acquired the speed of sound and it gave us a readout of 1567 meters per second. So the higher that number, the more healthy the liver, the lower the number means it travels slower and the more that means that there's some presence of liver steatosis. And this is a healthy liver. So it gives a, a nice readout of 1567 meters per second. I'm going to go ahead and save that image. That will put that number into the reporting package. I'm going to unfreeze. So I'm back live and I'm back on the liver. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the ROI box for the SSP because now I'm going to go into elastography to get my kilopascal readout. So I got a beautiful image of the liver here. And I'm going to touch the SWE, standing for Shear Wave Elastography button. I'm going to push that down. And it brings up a dual screen showing a color code here. Blue is good. Red is bad. And you can see we got a nice blue readout. I also want to make sure it's at least a millimeter beneath the liver capsule. So I just moved my reference box down by touching the touchpad. Okay, there we are. Go ahead and suspend your breathing. All right, got a nice image here. It's beneath that capsule enough. And I'm going to freeze. So again, if I want to track backwards to a better image in a different frame, I can go ahead and just go left and right on my trackpad. But this is really nice right here. It's nice and heterogeneous. No vessels within the reference box. And I'm gonna pull up my cue box by touching this button on the touch screen. The cue box brings up a circular area. Anything within that circle, that's what it's measuring for liver stiffness. 
and you can see my SI index is at above 90%, which means it's gonna be an accurate area to be able to measure. If I bring it down here, you see the SI index dip down to beneath 90%, so here it's 83%. I don't wanna measure there. I wanna make sure I'm in a good area, so I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna do my first measurement. SI index is above 90 at 93%. I'm gonna go ahead and press down on my trackpad it saves this, so it goes from yellow to white. I touch my assign last button on the touch screen, assign last. My cursor comes up and I'm going to put it on Qbox liver one. This is my first measurement. That is now saved in Qbox liver one, so that measurement is saved. I want to go back into my measure, so I click measure and another um, reference box comes up I can place it in an area right here, outside of the first one, in a different area of the liver. My SI index is at 90%. I press down on the trackpad. That measurement is saved. I hit assign last again. Cursor comes up. I assign it to Qbox liver two, as I wanna get three measurements. So that is now saved in there. I'm gonna hit measure once again. Measure once again. I go outside of that box. I gotta find something 90. Okay, so this is 90%. I'm outside of a vessel. So that's the third one. Assign last. Q box liver three. Those are my three measurements. And we are good to go. I'm gonna save this image. I now go to report by touching the report tab. I go to my image tab here. And I need to make sure, and in the upper left-hand corner, if you can see right here on your system, there's an X, a blue X there. That means it's not included in the report. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that box so that there's a blue check mark. Scroll down, click this box so there's a blue check mark. That means these images will be in the final report. I go into the worksheet tab I click that. And then if I scroll down, I have my measurements over here. And you can see all my actual measurements are here. And then this is the mean, median, interquartile range, or IQR, and the standard deviation. Now I need to check an author based on the tables that they use. I'm gonna use Casanato, I like him. And it gives you the um, stages of cirrhosis to fibrosis, or fibrosis to cirrhosis, rather, and then the cutoff values. So you can see my mean and median are 3.9 kilopascals and 3.8 kilopascals. I go down to the table over here from Casanato, and it gives cutoff values. So any, the mean, if it's 6.6, .6 or lower, they're in the F0 to F1. She's at 3.9, so she is an F0, um, which is a healthy liver. Now if I scroll down here, you can put in some additional information, but here are your images. Now the speed of sound, or the attenuation, the SSP+, plus, the image and measurement are right here, and then also displayed here. That's from your um, image save. And then the, all the measurements we did for the elastography are right here as well, along with the images. All the information is on here, both your quantitative and your qualitative. What you'll do is you will either print this report or save it to a USB and then upload it into the patient file on your EMR. That's how to do an elastography as well as attenuation for liver ultrasounds.